So welcome to Talking Tactics. My name's Simon Shaw. I'm here with Matthias Ram from Ram Racing. Fantastic day on the water for you guys yesterday. Yeah, we had a good day and uh, yeah, for the first time this season we really managed to stay at the top all day long. Excellent. Well, listen, we're going to talk about perhaps some of the key ingredients that helped cultivate that winning performance today. And I think the first one is the start. And I think we've got that on the video behind. So just talk us through your decision making here. Yeah, first of all, you have to look where are the other boats. And if you so want to- So just pause it. If, if, you, if we do the, this, uh, we have a look around when it's like one and a half, two minutes left. And we see that there's a big fight down to Leward here. A lot of boats down here. And then to avoid all these boats and get out of trouble, we stay further up here. And it's a relatively long distance between Alit here and the, and, the, and the boat. So therefore there was plenty of room up there. And also we inspect what kind of breeze will we see on the first reach. If we're going to see a lot of breeze, you can stay up there. If there's less breeze, you can stay down below. You can have that better angle into yeah, the line. Yeah. Now just rewind it. Can we just rewind it a second there? So just playing back. Okay. And now if we play from here. So for me, Matthias, at this point, you're going a lot faster than a lot of the boats around you. So you've sort of been winding up that speed into the start. And from, you know, starting from that further back position, you're just coming in and just sort of dominating that start. Yeah. It, it looked like that played out quite a few times. Yeah, it did. And uh, actually, we were we were a bit too early here anyway. You could see that we were doing a, an S turn when it's like five, six seconds left to the start. I realized that we were two seconds too early to the start. So we had to kind of adjust the speed as slightly. If not, we would have been even further forward. So you're, you know, you're starting from further back but actually not further back enough in that instance. Yeah, that's right. Okay, well, listen, great stuff. And then for me, if we look elsewhere on the race course, it, the jibe angles look totally critical out here. So we've got this start, you've got to the top mark first, and now what's the decision making on board? What's the key factor? Here is first to get the depth enough so you pause it, so you, so you are allowed to jibe when you want to. Because if you're up here, you can't really jibe because then you get the starboard boats just behind you. But here, because we see Essek and Hydra, they are jibing both straight away. So here we have plenty of room to jibe to port if we want to. So now it's more about finding the right angle, uh, getting down to the downwind gates. Okay, so listen, if we roll it from here, now who do you have on the boat calling what? How do you get that information? Uh, Philip is doing the, the trim in the jibe, so he sees the mark down here quite well. I do it as well. And then we pause it. And it, right here, uh, just before the jibe here, I look where the other boats are. We, we, want, we don't want to let elite jibe before us. So if they jibe, we jibe simultaneously. And we also look at the breeze here and what the puffs will do next. So if we see that there's a puff coming down, a strong puff, then we jibe early because we know that the breeze will push us down, down the course. If it's lighter, we wait another two, three, four boat lengths. Okay, and at this point, you've made the decision to jibe. It looks to me like you're leading yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. So you're looking at that bottom mark, looking at the puffs, assessing the angle, processing all that information and deciding. And at this point, looking to lay that bottom right hand gate as you look up wind that yeah. looked to be the winning move yesterday yeah yeah and uh, also that you if you can you rather push push this jibe another boat length than jibing too early because the a hot angle into the mark less will, vmg loss yeah, than, yeah. Than, than than just bearing off in the end of the downwind that's that's a big loss okay so let's see how it plays out a light here looking to try and jibe on top of you but your air clear forward yeah uh, with these boats, when we get a lot of uh, uh, speed from from, from the front, we, we you, you, it's really hard. Okay, it. It's really hard to, to to give the other bad air if if you're not in front of the other boats. Okay, so rounding this right hand gate off into this right hand, arguably favoured side, certainly yeah. in the previous few days, and just continuing to sort of dominate the race. And there, a nice two, three boat length extension probably yeah. on that run yeah. by minimizing the number of jibes. Yeah. I think they did a, uh, Essek did a jibe set up here, which is also quite good, but it forced them another two jibes. Okay. So Ben, can we carry on? Yeah, so we're on to the second one. We have another one of those ley line calls. So here, just coming in at the top mark, and again, 
unfurl. You've got no threat of the boat following with the jibe. But again, that key decision to get into that bottom right hand gate, let's let it play normal speed. So right here, we also get a little bit of help from these fishing marks. Because, ah. uh, you, we have passed them earlier on, and if we see that the same kind of breeze, same, same kind of wind angle, then we know that uh, this would probably be approximately where we're going to uh, jibe. But then it's also a quick decision if we're going to delay it another boat length or two, or if we take it earlier, depending on about the breeze. Okay, so at this point, we can see that, you know, we've got these, 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 these triggers on the race course, the fishing marks, and again, we can just see down to the bottom mark, and that's, you know, pretty good ley line. Let's see how it played out. Just play. And also here, we can adjust the, with, the, with the weight. Normal on speed, guys. We, we adjust with the weight on, on the crew on side of the boat. If we just stop here, cool. here we can see this big dark area, which means that we have had quite a lot of breeze down this, this run. And uh, that means that if we are in a light spot up here, and then we're coming up into more breeze, I just tell the guys on board the boat that now we need more weight to windward. So the guys are moving from side to side just to keep the balance in the boat and keep flying that with yeah, the yeah, yeah. so this is an excellent work for me it was that domination of those ley lines that yeah. and the starting that really contributed to your success so yeah. excellent day on the water i can see you're creeping up that scoreboard just <laughs> maybe it will be you that has your hand on that trophy let's see how today goes <laughs> best of luck Matthias. thank you